what up what up wheat field what to do welcome back to the wheat field y'all welcome to you welcome 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 come on in this is a late night reading and it is because i'm pretty excited about the lion's gate energy happy birthday leos happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday so um welcome back to wheat y'all welcome back this is your girl lati here at tears and wheat to row show well you show enough never know what you're gonna get y'all probably hear my fan in the background just a little bit because it'd be hot and i be needing to have that breeze but uh which one this one this yeah we getting some um positivity i was feeling positivity and it's pretty important while we are manifesting in this um lion's gate portal to leave like negativity behind to cut it out let it go let it go let it fall away and step into our higher level of consciousness digging into the high frequency of uh, love, Ashe, the sympathy, the empathy, the compassion. You know, when we communicate, communicate with um, an intent to understand one another and to, yeah, to kind of practice that just for the sake of learning. Looking at our journey through life, you know, up until this point, you know, through the year, at least if you can't even go back for your whole life, but just think about the year so far as a learning experience. I mean, eight months into the year, pretty much. And um, how much have you learned so far in 2023? And this is the year of uh, seven, the energy of seven. And that's introspection, to take a closer look at self. And the reading that is um, going to be right before this one talks about taking a deeper look at self and letting go of some of the negativity like how we can even transition some of our relationships for the benefit and betterment of self even if you don't like really be in communication and constant contact with some of the people we can still see how we react and respond to them in a way where it's beneficial again um to self i say i mean because we are star seeds, right? We here for a purpose. And learning is a part of the journey. So what better way to manifest than to dig into that high vibration again? Love, right? Light on a voluntary escape. We here and we're on a journey to learn more about self, about creation, about the whole experience gaining intelligence and sharing um, ourselves with one another and what does that mean to each and every one of us um, we are pixels and pieces of the most high God the Alpha and Omega and they get to experience self through us it experiences itself through us in every shape form and facet now that might be a lot for a lot some people to kind of take in or grab hold to but that's what this show is about could challenge you to think a little bit differently than you normally do that says that we're learning and that we're growing and we're at least just sharing different points of view so if y'all want to stick around and vibe with your girl come on in come on in and at the end of it if you do vibe, subscribe, subscribe. If you care about it, share it out. Sharing is caring. You know what I mean? And if you want to come back on the daily and get this bell, go ahead and hit that bell. Yes. This ain't nothing but to roll. We don't do nothing but sit around and chop it up, you know, so we can get it up and get it out, yo. You know, so we can get and we can manifest our dreams and step into our dharmic purpose and share our highest selves with one another so that we can all discover. Yeah. Alpha, would you like to come forward? Are we ready? Yeah, we ready? Oh, Omega, yeah, we good. The infinite intelligence in the breath. 
working in tandem. It's moving. It's baked in. Y'all ready to get it? Yes, let's get it. Let's get it. What up, star seeds? What it do? Can you see that? You're a star seed. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Star seed, star seed. What lights you up? What lights you up? What's crumbling down to what? What's crumbling? Yeah, what's crumbling? What are you clinging on to? What are you holding on to? We birthed a new age. Yeah, new age of Aquarius coming through. Lionsgate is coming in. You might need to transmute some stuff so we can manifest in the right way. It says, birthing new creations and dreaming a new world into being. That's what we're talking about. How do we do it? That divine order? Yes, everything happens in divine order. Absolutely. The crumbling is definitely associated with divine order. And we see prioritization. Metatron, focus on your highest priorities. We said that. We said that. Highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. We also said this one too that's next. Moon cycles. Lionsgate. Ah, look at it. Moon cycles. It says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. That's exactly why we decided to come on. I love it. Yes, moon cycles. You guys may not be able to read all of that because it's iridescence and the shine on the cards make it a little bit difficult but that's what we wanted to talk about and this goes right along with the video that we were uploading that's going to be right below this one it talks about this word that came out a couple of times it's principle patience patience yes let's get it clear audience and we see clairvoyance and then we see remember who you are making sure your intentions are crystal clear yeah, and if you take the leap, the universe will catch you. Clairvoyance. I am helping your helping you. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Just put that in there. Clairvoyance. Do you remember? who you are. Clear audience. Yep. Simba, remember who you are. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I had to say it. I had to say it. That one was there. Clairvoyance, clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind and from other people. I do feel that somebody is definitely incredibly gifted. We saw Starseed come out like that was just it, like boom, Starseed, right? That you're here to assist in birthing a new age. What lights you up, right? That was very early coming out. You are, I believe, motivated by the purpose of your work. If you're discovering it, you're probably excited, you know, to get going and get into it. Or you might be a little nervous. Which one are you on? nervous excited yeah it lights you up you maybe you have a real passion for it a veracity i know i do like i could just bring messages from the spirit all the time pillars of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle maybe you have a message to give maybe you will start a channel maybe you have a channel already maybe you will write books or that's something that's in you a book is in you and is wanting to come out it will bust out but it will do that i feel in divine order the ever unfolding rose is going to crack open all the things that you are going through is happening for you not to you and we talked about that in the last episode. It's happening for you, not to you. You are going to continue to blossom. Have patience. Everything is going to happen in divine order. And you may be called to prioritize your endeavors. 
you know, maybe you will have so many opportunities coming to you that you will really need to prioritize how you use your time. Yeah, I just heard no more midnight messages. Is that true? No, yeah, that's somebody else trying to say. You go on now. now. Creating heaven on earth is happening. Somebody definitely has a part because we saw, you know, that you are helping to birth the new age and the messages and the work that you do is going to be um, instrumental in that um, new beginning, Ashe. Your vibration is rising. You are an oracle. And I feel like the messages you give are going to be inspiring. And we see spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect. And you are ready to soar. And that's going to come a little bit down the road. Because we have creating heaven on earth. It's happening. But then we see all things in divine order and things that are falling away what are you still holding on to could be pieces of your past identity it could be fears it could be worry it could be all of those um things that weigh you down and pull you down and make it really hard for you to fly so to release those things as the crumbling happens those tower moments that come in to break things up to shake things up to help you build a new foundation to lighten your load the things that no longer serve you will fall away right and to be willing to release them release them with ease without judgment with giving them gratitude for having served its purpose if it's falling away from you, you're staying open and the divine can come in and, and take things out. It could put new stuff in. You hold it open, gratitude, uh, in a, a position of offering, always. It's giving me a gift and I'm so grateful for it. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to care for it. And I'm going to be a good steward over it. But when they take it, I'm going to be so glad that they did. It lightens my load and now I'm ready to receive again right i'm not holding like this i'm not attached to it i'm just grateful for having had the ability to have it you know understanding that it served a purpose and i can release with ease and grace patience is here ever unfolding roles to patience is here as you continue to develop you will crack open and open and open i feel just one layer after layer after layer after layer you know it will unfold and and things will come in you know as things come in to you i feel experiences events relationships you know it will just come in and walk into you and you will take all of that energy in and transmute it and you will speak it out or you will use it you will create something you will put something out and it will just flow out unfolding unfolding layer upon layer upon layer upon layer i feel like you are looking to have revelation not only revelation of self but um to receive your manifestations right and as you receive your revelations and your manifestations, you will put them into use. And each use, you will discover more and more about you going further and further and further inside of you. Yes. To discover what you will pull out of you. Like, it will be like that two-hand... Um, it's almost like one hand washing the other. You're pulling it in and you're pushing it out all at the same time. It's like almost a weird dance of bringing it in and pushing it out. You know, um, it's the balance. It's almost like breathing. You know, you receive oxygen and you put out the carbon dioxide, right? As creation feeds you. You feed creation. And then there's more for you to be fed. And then you feed the more. It is that dance of giving and receiving. The law of attraction. And it just keep going, going, going. Cycle over cycle over cycle over cycle. And I feel like as that happens, again, you will get deeper and deeper and deeper in the revelations of self, of 
who you are as a star seed energy more and more gifts opening up we already see two we see clear audience and clairvoyance and we see the process of remembering who you are and it's going to happen in divine order you know you're going to have experiences that are going to call you into awakening to support you in the work that you will be doing your vibration is rising continue to do the work of releasing you know, digging into those shadows and coming to balance, accepting your whole self, no judgment, practicing non-judgment, non-judgment of you, non-judgment of others and everything that you've been through, your experiences, whatever you have, whatever you've acquired, all of it, just releasing the judgment, right? Releasing the attachment, again, remaining open and grateful. And when you come from a place of gratitude, all of your manifestations have a clear pathway to come into you crystal clear intentions be clear about what you desire focus upon it with unwavering faith unwavering faith crystal clear get really really clear by the time you are ready to truly spread your wings you will have a crystal clear mindset and a set of intentions and you will just set it and forget it set it forget it i feel that that's how good at manifestation manifesting you will be yes yes we have really been down into this deck right here it says you go first and the universe will catch you leap you want this heal healing has been big you know it's a very very big thing it's a lot of people who are hurt of course right the day and age that it is you know what lights you up could be a couple of things it could be things that fire you up like that passion it could be things that are anger it could be you know frustration anything that really gets you it could be that too you know so what does light you up dig into it and see it this this be nimble when we ask for help we must be open to receiving it we may be called to be flexible when help arrives in an unexpected form i feel like your help may come in an unexpected form and that's why we see the clear audience to listen to the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people you know sometimes our tormentors can be our greatest teacher if you allow them to be and not saying that you have to sit in their company you may because you may not be able to get away from this person right it could be a boss you know you work with somebody that's just like oh this person you know they really light me up right but if you allow them the opportunity to show you your own response which we saw earlier is listen and be silent as this person is doing their thing and you may be able to turn your enemy into an ally by helping them discover the solution stop and breathe Yes, that's down here, beloved. We about need to move our spectacles out the way. Stop and breathe. Reality is shaped by what we believe. Take a deep breath. Reassess. Realign. Let go of what doesn't help the situation. Anything else, beloved? No. But we definitely see create. That's that Empress energy. We are talking about our ability to manifest. Right? And what is going to help us do that? Yes. The breath is so beneficial. And deep breathing tactics is something that I really need to dig back into. 
I have been so slacking on my meditation, my calm time, those principles that I know serve me so well. And in this time of manifestation and being mindful, I definitely am, you know, called into remembrance to stay in those principles, you know, to, whoa, to breathe deeply, to remember, you know, Yeah, new romance is imminent, okay? Something that you're gonna love. Maybe somebody is manifesting new love, you know? New romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through a reignited passion in your existing or in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. You could have new love reigniting a freshness or renewal of love in a current relationship. Mediumship is here. That's another gift that you have. Um, or it could be new love coming in. It could be a connection with other loved ones. But we definitely see a repeat of this card here, which is patience. And it's definitely flipped out in the reverse. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student. And we just literally said that even your tormentors can be teachers, right? Putting yourself in student position. What can I learn about this situation? No matter how hard it is, no matter how challenging, there's something for you to learn. It's presented itself to you for a reason. It is growing you. It is showing you how you can persevere, how you can dig into you. It says, in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action. You will use that knowledge. Nothing goes to waste. Everything is on purpose. Everything. Crystals. You may be a person who can use crystals. The energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. I'm definitely drawn to our moonstone right now, right? Support us in these moon cycles. I can put it up here on my head. Heart chakra. I'm feeling that green with patience. Be patient with self. Be patient with others. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. And we spoke a lot about giving and receiving. Being open. Staying in the flow of giving and receiving. Just being able to breathe. To use the breath. To have the breath. To be animated in creation is you're automatically in giving and receiving again you give out carbon you receive oxygen when you took that first breath and you cried out that vocal that expressed a sense of need as a communication moved out on the breath you expressed out into creation your presence i am here and I am calling out for my piece of inheritance, my piece of abundance, that which has been decreed onto me. And stewards, people come in, a soul tribe, a network, maybe, you know, depending on how it went. I'm just saying, this is, you know, high resonance we speak in. Somebody was there to meet the need. And even if it wasn't that parent, hopefully you were placed in a soul tribe where your need was met. You were comforted. You were loved. You were held. You received touch. You received food. And, you know, your basics were met to develop that root chakra, that security, to know that you are safe. And if you ha didn't have it and you feel a sense of insecurity now is the opportunity to repair itself the alpha our heavenly cosmic mother 
and the Omega, our Heavenly Cosmic Father, Spirit that called our spirits, our light, are there to help us, to reparent us, to be parents for those who don't have that representation, who didn't feel that sense of security and safeness. We can still access that in this day. Vegetarian and vegan. Somebody is definitely being called to eat clean. That's been something. I mean, we've been we've been eating some meat lately, but you know, fasting, going clean, being conscious of what you eat. When I was a youngster, I came off of pork simply because we rode past a truck full of pigs, and they were really, really quiet. They knew they were going to the slaughterhouse and they didn't say nothing. They weren't oinking or <coughs> nothing that pigs do. I know that was a snort, but I don't know how to do the pig sound. But they wasn't doing none of that. And you could not tell me. My spirit said that they were stressed, that they were scared. That's what my spirit said, they were scared. I just felt like they had little pig conversations like everybody that got on that truck never came back. And they knew what was going to happen. And then we had to get off the freeway because of construction and ride past the slaughterhouse. Why was it like eight pigs out there on the ground? They had passed away. You couldn't tell me that them pigs did not have a heart attack. I just knew. You could not tell me. They were so scared in that truck. And when they got off, they had transitioned from a heart attack because they knew what was finna happen and I just felt it like they stress and we eat that stress and for a long time I, I weaned myself all the way off of meat I ate fish but then I don't even know what the fish feel can you imagine Nemo getting caught up in that net he got emotions too manifestation power that's what we talking about it's just being mindful that we eat stress. You know, we take it into the body. So we have two things that are a challenge that are crossing mediumship and manifestation power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. That's a challenge when we are carrying around so much weight. Whether it is the foods that we eat that are just not good for the body, whether it's our emotions and not um, transmuting all of that energy that's stored up in our chakras. They are off balance. You know, some of them might not even be working. They might be clogged up. You know what I mean? With clogged. Just saying. Get them in order. Get your oil changed. Get the running and rhythm, tuning your frequency and your vibration so that you can emit good energy. Mediumship, you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. Yeah. We do. Not all of them ascended. They did. You got to be careful who you're talking to. It can be a challenge. Because they get to, you know, everybody want to speak. And then that might not be something that you're comfortable with. You could be a medium and you could be experiencing that. And you might have a certain sentiment. Especially if it's against, you know, your tradition or how you've grown up. And what you've experienced in your life so far. And feel like whether or not that's okay. Because you definitely star seed, earth, angel, ashe discovering who you are remembering who you are anything else you are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love and if you've come to teach about love you're going to learn some lessons about love yes fairies you have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. Creating heaven on earth is happening. And this card is very naturalistic. All I see is mountains and forests and water. If you guys can see that. 
because it's light. It's just like, what? But, yeah. This is in reverse. Cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours, manifestation power, and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete, as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative power. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. Maybe you are waiting for cooperative partnerships. Maybe cooperative partnerships have been a struggle for you because it was in the reverse. Cooperative partnerships have been a struggle. And again, sometimes when those partnerships are a struggle like that is because you're learning something your tormentors are your teachers right they are come to your life to teach you something to show you how to build stronger partnerships we had a car earlier that talked about meeting fire with water instead of you blowing up because it's something that lights you up instead of being lit up dial back and dial down right if they are raging and turning into a ball of fire a ball of flame maybe meet them with the flow of water of love of a different form of emotion to counteract that and come to balance instead of you both blowing up and escalating come back into balance and just be in a different type of flow or you just stay in the flow and be flexible and nimble be nimble. Uh, anything else? Did you want this one? Yeah. Singing and dancing. And clear, cancel, and delete. Singing and dancing, changing your energy helps you clear, cancel, and delete negative energies. Especially if you are clairvoyant, if you are clairaudient, especially clairsentient, you take on emotion and feeling, you absorb those energies, and it's very uh, important for you to do something to dispel that, to move it throughout the body and release it. You know, you may need to just do a shimmy, you know, let's get it, my week, let's get it, hey, hey, oh, oh, you know what I mean, just lighten your load get into that heart chakra energy clear cancel and delete express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement only use positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form manifestation power ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking Ask your angels to help you cancel any negative effects of the past. I ask the angels to come in and cancel the effects of any negative past thinking. I ask to recall my words, anything that I may have spoken out in negativity that will cause an error onto my life. I am the sower of those seeds. I am the sower of those words and I call them back onto me. I call them back. I call them back. I call them back. I call them back. I call them all back, 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 back onto me. I ask that you bind them up, bind them up, bind them, 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 and cast them down, never to return, never to return. They cannot come back onto my life and cause an error. They are null and void. I cancel them, I clear them, I delete them. Delete. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So mode it is, so mode it is, so mode it is. So more it be, so more it be, so more it be. Anything else in here, beloved? No. Anything else we shall get? This one? Yeah, because I've been looking at this key card. 
says key. What's the key? New beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those who are ready to let go of the past. Anything else? Nope, that was it. All right. Any energy? Yes. Thorns. Whether the weathering the challenges ahead will bring a new and positive future. And three and one is a four. Stability. It could be four of swords, healing, laying things to rest, right? Digging into childhood traumas, facing our shadow self. It could be more prayer and meditation. Right? It could be rejecting things that don't serve us. Or fasting, not accepting any cups at all in the moment, you know. Um, yeah. Celebrations are here. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. New and exciting things. Who's speaking? Alpha. New and exciting things into your life. But it requires change. Anything else, beloved? Psychic to work. You are the light. Celebration is indeed in your future. You see that. But there's some mental conflict. Things to release. You know, you inside of your own head. You know, release. Release, release, release. You are the sower of your seed. You maintain your own power at all times, calling back all of our power from every place it may be. We call it back. Memories of love. We saw that igniting. Maybe an old flame coming back into reignition. Maybe a remix after an intermission. Yes. Anything else with that? Is it in here? No. Where is it at? But what do we say? It's a union, a spiritual union, and it's coming in. We got some motion, motion, I hear motion in the ocean, okay, okay, what do we say, passion ignited, I love it, <laughs> that's it for that one, you want it in here, where is it, where is the next one, romance, angels, ooh, Wedding. This situation involves a marriage. It's already happening in the spirit. As above, so below. I say, I say, I say. We read that for a divine masculine early today. We could be picking up on that energy again. We don't know. But love is in the air, beloved. Yes, it is. After having been separated, this could be a past thing. Is that somebody? Yeah. And they're going to express their love real soon. Ooh. Yes, they are. Somebody may be being going. I see divine order and divine timing. And it's right over the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Somebody holding on to something, but I feel that divine order is shaking stuff up. We talked about that tower, things being shaken so that you can let the old past foundation fall away, that which wasn't built to last. And what is going to be built, beloved? I feel like it's the real, real, real. It's that 5D. It's already done in the spirit. And as above, so below. It's going to be this. 
true love, y'all. And we, how many times we got to say that the passion is ignited? We saw passion. We saw passion. We see passion. Ooh. True love, passion. Allow your heart to sing with joy. And it's right over singing and dancing. Ooh, I love it. Can we get this one? Let's do it. Flirting. Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna be flirting with you, beloved. And look, I can't make it up. I just cannot. It's too juicy. My imagination is not that good, trust. Give it a chance. Because this is a past life relationship. Just saying. I'm loving anything else now. No. Spirit says no. That was it. That was it. You got an energy for it. No, I feel it. I feel it. Let your friends help you. Maybe you're going to get invited to something. Maybe your friends already know that they, maybe they talking to some of your friends, trying to figure out how to get in good with you, how to get back to you, how to find you, get in contact with you, something like that. Because mm, somebody is definitely attracted. Mm. Mm. I can't even flip it no more. Spirit say, no, that's it. Anything else? What should we get? This one? This one. Ooh. Oh. This right out the gate says, take action. Take action, Ashay. We want to look at this. Obstacles are disappearing. We saw the crumbling. Obstacles are disappearing. Maybe within a few weeks. It is right here. A few weeks. Look deeper. Mm. Look deeper. Anything else for that? Release it. Whatever this is that you're holding on to, the crumbling, what are you clinging on to? They say release it. It's time for you to reflect and dig deeper. What no longer serves you, beloved? And why are you attempting to keep it? Maybe you need to be more assertive. That could be a thing. If you want to have this love, you might have to step up and go after it. Something is unfavorable. Whatever you're holding on to is unfavorable. There's some hidden information and the Spirit is saying to let it go. There's something that you don't know. Do you want this? Yes. It's something that you don't know. You need to release whatever you're holding on to. We see make contact and ask for help. And then again, obstacles are disappearing. Yeah. Yes. I said, yeah. Yes. Have confidence. Be more assertive. Yes. Have confidence. Trust. trust and that's over divine order it's gonna happen soon right in the near future it's coming in the near future within a couple of weeks anything else Recover first came in the reverse. Mm. 
Write over divine order and trust. Express your love. What I'm thinking, what I'm hearing, trust it. I hear that you 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 may have a feeling or a sentiment that uh, you must be fully healed first. You must be fully recovered first. And I'm hearing that that's not true. That healing, like you... Two different energies. So, one person... We, you have somebody that's coming back towards you, and that's this person that has something that they're clinging on to. And you may feel like you're not ready to move forward, but you are. You may feel like you need to be fully recovered in terms of fully healed and what you think is your vision of being all the way to good. And the Spirit says that's not true. Is that right? That you are ready to move forward and you can trust what you're feeling. You can trust the ability to develop partnerships and relationships that is coming soon. That by the time this, that's the divine order and the divine timing, you may be feeling like you're not ready when this opportunity presents itself. But you will be. You both will be ready at the same time. Is that right? Yes. Anything else in here? No. No, ain't no need to worry what the night is gonna bring. It'll be all over. And look, wow. It says, leap. You go first and the universe will catch you. And it says, trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? You would leap. If you knew that you would be supported, you would leap. And the universe is saying that there's no need to worry. You can leap. The universe has you. You are supported. Is there something else? Yes, yes. What would you like? Voice of the soul. Submission is here. We see abundance. That's what we've been talking about manifesting. Abundance. And I always feel submission unto the Most High, unto the universe, unto divine ordering, unto divine timing, right? Submitting unto what the universe is doing in our life, allowing things to be released, to be removed, and for what is new to come in. Forgive. We see what lights you up. Again, it could be things that are frustrating you. It could be things that cause you to anger. Yes, the source. Source says to forgive. Forgiveness is your key to generating everything, to bring in all of your manifestations, to reaping your abundance, to reaping love. The law of attraction to forgive, submit all onto the source, that which calls your life the alpha and the omega, the beginning to the end, the end to the beginning, release all things, the source of you, the source of self, release it all. Have forgiveness. And both of these are for beloved look. And we talked about that stability. And it's just so happened that the heal card is also a four. Healing. It's a four. Anything else will love it? No. Any last energy? No, that's it with that. But breathe. And we said this is the energy. Seven. 2023 is the energy of seven. Calm down. Breathe. Stop and breathe. Calm down. Calm down. Reality is shaped by what we believe. Take a deep breath. Reassess. Realign. And let go. 
of what does not help your situation. Breathe more. Relax, reassess, heal, beloved, forgive, release. There's so much that is here that awaits thee. The abundance of creation is here for not only you, but for me too. I love you. I love you. Anything else? No, no, no. That's it. That's it. Woo! Increase the joy. Feel it. Release all of the bitterness, the heaviness, lightness. Call it in. Somebody got a new love brewing. Yes. Lion's Gate energy. I love you. To the next now. I love you. Just like what? Just like what? Just like what? The Alpha. Mm -hmm. That called your light. Yes, that called all of us, each and every one of us. Yes. And the Omega that gave us our decree. Yes, that says we are here and we have an inheritance of abundance. Yes, 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 indeed. So mode it is. So mode it is. So mode it is. And so mode it be. So mode it be. So mode it be. To the next now, y'all. Ashe. Mm -hmm.